Hi there, Kawa here uh, with another episode of Sage World Battlefield. Uh, today's episode, we will be using our good bald friend here, uh, with, who, who is now fully awakened though, but it's really only two um, levels of awakening that I'm missing. So it's not that serious, it's probably like 300 BP I'm missing on him. Uh, but he's very usable right now, so uh, he's going to be in this nice team here with the two Uchiha brothers, uh, Itachi and uh, Sasuke. So the main reason I pair them with these two is, um, outside the obvious Konoha buff that he gives off to everybody, the 40% to defense and resistance while he is alive, and um, the fact that his chase here, this nice fist, it uh, links up really nicely with Sasuke, because Sasuke's Kagisuchi always chases the low float to high float, and he always chases the knockdown to low float, so they work together really nicely. And it also, you know, he's not a swordsman, so he doesn't take up the uh, Ruta Warrior buff that my main is using, but he himself is already immune to all debuffs. So it works really, really nicely. And the fact that he actually hits kind of hard. Um, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be hitting this hard, but it's also possible it's just because I'm too strong. <laughs> and the fact that he's on my uh, position too. But he's supposed to be really tanky, um, just from you know his natural buff, his immunity, and his stats. So for him, I did a plus life mood, uh, minus defense. Uh, it, I personally, if I had to pick between defense and resistance, I usually take away from the defense because uh, there's less pure tie than there is pure nin, so I like to stick with that. Uh, also. Um, actually, let me just show you guys the team formation real quick, so you, you can get a nice glance at it. So as usual, I like to make the little T formation, and uh, it's mainly so that you know you can spread out yourself from Hiruzen. So um, there's two people here who want to be hit, which is Sasuke and um, Chiriku Baldi. Um, one because he'll give you chaos, and the other so that he can lower his cooldowns. Uh, I know some people might ask me why Itachi is all the way here at the end at move 4. It's mainly because uh, I want his cleanse and that secondary attack to trigger at the end of the round. So, you know, that's the best time to cleanse things and that is also the best time for Sasuke to do another standard. Uh, assuming he did his mystery that turn, um, it, it would be the best time to go for it because that's the time where you'll probably catch somebody with low life and they'll probably get killed by Sasuke, which will cause him to continue um, blitzing through the enemy. Uh, Skill-wise, something really special. I just took the ceiling slash, seeing that your attacker is Baldi and Sasuke. Um, and also a little bit of uh, Itachi, but because he's move 4, he's not really reliable damage. Uh, you take Calm Mind here because the idea is to survive. As long as Lightning Mane is alive, he is a threat to the enemy, and the fact that he provides the Ambu special tactics. So just by being alive, um, he's a threat, so you want to try to keep him alive as long as possible. Calm Mind helps that because it does heal um, a good amount of his life. And, um, though it's a little bit RNG, he either heals 8% or 16%, and then he gives you the chakra, obviously. The chakra is also kind of handy, because then you can use Baldi on turn, round, turn 1, if, um, they hit him two times. And then, nothing else special here, obviously, you take Ruta Warrior, because, um, Sasuke is not immune himself, and obviously Itachi is not either, so you take the root, and all three of them have it. And, relatively simple stuff with the summons. I should actually take a look at my tools to make sure everything's in the right spot. Okay. Yep, everything in the right spot. Uh, nothing really else to see here. Um, assist links are very basic. Uh, I'm almost done with my move 3's one. As, as you can see, I already have, what is this, uh, 10. And then I have Minato over here at 8, and I have Onoki here at 7. I'm probably going to finish Minato first, so then I'll have 11 of them done. And then I'll go back around for Onoki here, and then I'll have all 12. Uh, I don't actually go out of my way to do them, it's just whenever I collect those free uh, purple bells, if I collect like enough to bump them up, that's the only time I level them up. I don't 
I haven't been going out of my way to buy them. Alright, so yeah, that's more or less the team. Um, nothing too super special about it, but uh, I feel like this is a great use of uh, Baldi. I have a few more teams for him, but uh, I wanted to play Susano, uh, not Susano, Renikon Sasuke today, so um, yeah, that's why I, I'm doing this team. Though, this does work with uh, Susano Sasuke too, if you feel the need to try Susano Sasuke. Uh, you just. Yes, you don't even change the chase. The chase is still the same. You chase the repulse to knockdown. So you could chase that arrow, and then uh, Baldi here will chase it to low, and you know you get the Kagasuchi chase and everything. So it links up. Um, though, if I was to play Susano Sasuke, I might not use Itachi here, simply on the grounds that. Um, he doesn't really do damage with a standard like that. You you actually want him to have more buffs so that uh, if he kills somebody with the mystery, he'll reset. Uh, which also ta uh, changes the point that you don't take on with special tactics. You would take the killing intent if you were doing the Susano Sasuke. So that, you know, if there's random clones or stuff, you'll kill them and he'll be able to fire off another mystery. Though, it's not that easy to pull off because... Unless they're like wind main clones or just like random summons sitting around, you're not going to be able to kill them that easily. Uh, that's why you want the fourth person to be a buffer. Uh, it could be almost anyone. A barrier doesn't hurt. Um, or like, you know, Madara or Hashirama. Just anything. Any, anything that buffs them that's not a swordsman. Actually, no, it could be a swordsman. I, f I forgot. It could be a swordsman. It could be a Mifun if you wanted to. Uh, just make sure you, you know they don't get in the way of any of the chases because you want the chase to work out. And yeah, that's the relatively easy poor part of doing it. Um, and then as for me, I'm still waiting on um, what to do with my Sasuke. I have 101 frags here, as you can see. Uh, and then I have 50 of his frags in a box. So uh, I'm just waiting to choose what to do with him. Um, I'm considering just getting his book, but yet again, his book is not that important to me because the only thing it does is that it attacks cross team, and that's only useful to me in Great Ninja War. And in Great Ninja War, I already have a set team that I play, so I might just five star him. Probably not this week, obviously, because the week is actually kind of a little bit weak. There's like not much to offer me. I already um, did a video prior to this where uh, you can see <laughs> I did some bad Kawa spending and I just bought some stuff so that I can finish up my uh, Mount Miyaboku uh, lands to advance. Uh, and that's like the only spending I think I'm going to do this week outside of you know the froggy that I already did. I don't like the only other thing that remotely can convince me to do to spend on is um, the Sakura gifting, but that's for, to get uh, Edo Minato, and I don't know, I, I'm just not interested in Edo Minato. He's just not good enough right now. Um, he's really a support unit, at least in my opinion. I know some people don't agree with me on these things, but he's 100% a support unit in my opinion. Um, he's more of a secondary DPS more than anything, uh, because his mystery is a three round cooldown, and he just doesn't hit as hard. I still prefer Hokage over him because Hokage scales easier because you know he just has to throw his kunai to scale, which is easier than Edo Minato. But obviously there's trade-offs. The trade-off being that Edo Minato is mystery is undodgeable and it's interrupt to everything, while Hokage Minato is dodgeable and it's only AoE if you go after a tag target. And then obviously the big point is that Edo Minato is uh, immune to all debuffs, uh, regular Minato is not, but then regular Minato gives you the resistance buff, which is something I wanted to bring up also, um, I don't know why we don't have that skill book yet, like Hashirama and Tobirama has their book already, why doesn't Edo, uh, not Edo, uh, regular Minato, like Hokage Minato and Ho uh, Hokage Hiruzen have theirs yet? They only have one book, and then that one book upgrades um, their uh, passive where it, it's permanent like the other two. Alright, anyways, enough ramblings. Um, let's see who our opponent is. 
Oh, also I just want to mention, Rule Warrior plus uh, Baldi's defense um, thing, it stacks. So that's why um, they're actually really strong for Kirby. I actually should have probably interrupted his Earth main, but I was kind of mid-sentence and I wasn't paying attention completely. Also, it probably wasn't necessary for me to use the uh, acupuncture. I could have just waited, calm mind, and then hit him with the punch. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the punch. I'm, I'm looking at the name. Like, I'm not gonna go say that whole thing. So I also don't want anyone to be confused or think that I uh, favor Renegon Sasuke over Naruto. Um, I don't, and I'm very willing to admit to you that Sasuke's damage is actually not that high, but I don't know, I feel like he's a more fun unit to play. See, that's also why um, my Itachi here at Move 4, I don't even consider him damage. He does near to nothing, and it's simply because he's on move 4. Um, let me see, is anyone here I can attack? Uh, I think this person's on auto, but, um, 180 k is not bad, but I'm just, uh, I was gonna say, uh, this team is, um, something that I personally would probably run against uh, Six Path Naruto because you have the ability to have the mirror from Kurnai to bounce that um, immobile that uh, Naruto does on Chase. You have a secondary DPS in Minato and uh, you have a little healer here that can help out. Uh, the heal is not that important because she probably is going to die a terrible death really fast because she's a move 4 competing with a move 1. Uh, but the one takeaway from this is if you are intending to fight um, six path Naruto's with like a team like this, you have to give up the uh, handicap or the crutch that you're relying on, which is the mains heal. You have to give it up. You have to take that water whip and you know get aggressive. If you don't, if you don't, you know attack aggressively against Naruto, you you will lose that fight. Because you'll be healing, and there'll be nothing triggering his dodge, and then your secondary DPS is like not able to help out with the damage enough, because he's doing half his damage now, because, you know, he has to, he has to wait to uh, trigger the dodge first. It's a very heavy price to pay, but that's the only way you can really do it if you really intend to be able to beat the 6 path Naruto. I do love that he bows. <laughs> After he does this little mystery, he bows. It's it's kind of funny to me. Uh, literal same team. Only difference is that it's Kushina now instead of Minato. Um, so my issue with this one is you have to sacrifice a summon. His summon has to be like Monkey King or something right now, or else there's no other way that he can um, really chase that stuff. So that's where um, I don't like to sacrifice on. I really hate it when I have to... Uh, change my summon just to make the chase work instead of using a high combo summon. Uh, it's really just a pet peeve of mine. I know other people don't find it such a big problem, but to me, it's a problem. It's something that you, I don't like to compromise on. I can avoid it. Uh, oh, my mistake. It was the monkey king. 
it's the uh, bird. So the thing with the bird is, um, it can only be used twice on, um, whatchamacallit, on her, oh, damn it. Uh, it can only be used twice on Kushina Standard, and it's only once on the Shark Bomb, which is why I don't like it. <laughs> I also do love that he drop kicks them. <laughs> he just kicks them into a wall. It's like, hmm. <laughs> are you sure you're a ninja? <laughs> So, I just want to point out the error of Hiruzen is very over now. It's only good against uh, weaker people where, you know, you can speed kill them. In, like, strong fights, it's not that good anymore. Oh, Sasuke, please hit this Sasori that's at 27 life. <laughs> and then destroy him. <laughs> and just keep going. Yes! Wait, oh, Hiruzen is still locked? Uh huh. Did not realize that. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure Itachi's gonna die soon, so I might as well just fire everything. Ooh! One more. So, it's really the fact that I have Root at Baldi's resistance buff in the first round that I was able to mitigate most of this damage. If not, this Itachi probably should have died, but having a 140% resistance uh, buff, it, it, it's pretty serious. Alright, let me just put this up just in case. If for some miraculous reason he survives. So, I just want to point out that's the exact amount that Naruto would heal. <laughs> just want to point that out. <laughs> On Blue Special Tactics, and that is that Naruto's heal is the same exact numbers. Uh, I actually was not paying attention. I don't remember if I made this Shisui dodge. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I did make him dodge. Excellent! <laughs> Oh, hey. Nice. Um, I don't have a target. <laughs> Two of these dodge. <laughs> but the thing with Sasuke is, I feel like his damage doesn't come from his mystery. His damage is coming from his standards. His mystery, to me, is just like that little bit of damage on top and... Um, and the fact that it, um, forces dodges. Like, it clearly doesn't hit that hard. At least not harder than his standard. Um, this looks more like a great Ninja War type team. Um, uh, more than a, um, uh, regular combat team. Because you want the Sasuke, the suit Sasuke here, you want him in a situation where he's buffing more people. Um, 
this could have been someone else, but it's not that big of a difference, but I just wanted to just point that out real quick. Oh, oops! <laughs> I was supposed to attack this Conan, but I'm about to hit this um, main. That's my bad. It's fine, though. No. She's gonna die anyways. Yes. Oh, that is the thing. Um, I just read the chat. Um, you could join the Zen Zenith right now and um, probably get a free win. <laughs> because people are a little bit busy with uh, Sage World. Um, so, I'm just going to point out, I already don't like the setup for this team. Because why is Jigakudo move 2? And Daydara move 4. Um, just doesn't make sense to me. Um, even if you were trying to make the chase work, it... I don't know, I still- I, I would never bend over backwards like that to put Jigakudo there. So... That's just me. Uh, maybe somebody has a better understanding about this than I do, but... I don't know. I never would put a Jigakudo as my move 2, ever. The only healer that ever goes on move 2 is probably Sailor Sakura and maybe Sani uh, Tsunade if she has the uh, break where she she has like permanent lightning armor. Outside of that... I don't think so. I don't think there's anyone else I can think of off the top of my head that I... That, that's a healer that I would put there. Oh crap, that's just hack. Okay. <laughs> I thought I, I, I attacked Shadow and then I attacked It's Not Personal. And I was gonna be slightly upset. <laughs> So, for this type of team, I understand why the uh, Madara is here, but I don't like it that you're very, you're so committed to the uh, support roles. You actually have to, in this time, in this meta at least, with Naruto around, you absolutely have to have a secondary DPS. It can't, you, you just can't pull it off without it. And don't mistake it that. You know, people like say, oh, well, you know, Kage Summit Moderate hits kind of hard with his, you know, chase. That's not how you determine is it a DPS or not. It's his damage consistent. That's the most important thing. You have to have consistent damage. And this Madara definitely does not offer you that. Personally, I'd rather drop these two healers, swap one out for, like, um, Tsunade, uh, Sanin Tsunade. No, not Sani. Um, the regular one, the one with the skill break. Um, and then give her like the lightning armor thing because then she at least scales. And then um, find like a third person who's damaged. Like, don't bend over backwards and make chases work. Because there are teams that I play that I don't absolutely have to have a chase. The chase is not that important. Not all the time. <laughs> Also, that's another thing with Baldi. With Lifesteal and, um, and what you call it, and, um, the fact that he gets to spam his mystery and he's the defense resist, the defense boss, he takes damage really nicely. And he heals a lot because his thing is like an AoE that hits multiple people. You know what? I should have probably. <laughs> I really should have probably killed this Madara if I was paying more attention, so that I didn't, uh, oh, wait, that's pure, whoops. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm like in mid-thought. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, he's really sturdy with Lightning Main. Uh, probably pretty sturdy with Water Main too. I'm not sure about the others. Uh, Earth? Probably. But... Most Earth teams I can think of off the top of my head don't need this type of chase. Um, but it, it's still really likely that he's very good with Earth too. Because then, you know, you have all that super defense stacking and it's just ridiculously hard to kill them. Though, obviously, you're gonna need some DPS. Um, 
Well, if anything, thinking about it, just off, you know, blurting out ideas, you can do Six Path Naruto, uh, Baldi, uh, Earth Main using the Repulse to Knockdown Chase, and the last person could just be almost anyone. It could be like, like a, yet again, it could be Skilled Warrior Tsunade, so she has like lightning armor attacking. It, it could be that, and it would probably work. Um, let me just... Okay, I didn't get a crit out of that. <laughs> so there are some times where I'm kind of sad that um, Itachi goes and kills the clone. That's like standing right in front of Baldi. It's like, come on, hit him! Hit Baldi! And then, you know, you see the clone get killed. And I get kind of sad. <laughs> because this Minato should have died last round. <laughs> if I got to use this thing. But whatever. Game they just ran away from me. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't want to attack. Nope, nope, nope. Not attacking them. The first one was an accident. Um, I was clicking into a crowd. If anyone questions me, I have complete evidence. Uh, this was a crowd too. I didn't see anything. Oh, I got paralyzed. Wait, what? How do you get paralyzed? Oh, fire me. Oh no! Alright, this is gonna be... Oh shoot! <laughs> Yet again, almost got lost in thought. So, um, in this situation, I'm going to kill the fire main first. He's... I don't know, it's just a thing. I have this, um, severe hatred of fire main because he has the mirror, and I hate that goddamn mirror. I hate it with passion. Uh, he's probably gonna try to kill my lightning main. At least, I think that's what he's gonna try to do. Nope, he won't have to touch you. Alright, we're gonna kill this Kasami. Uh, maybe not. I highly doubt I could do 7,000 to him with a move 3. Uh, I didn't have to break the shield. Ooh, that was close. No, Sasuke, you have to go this way. Okay, we at least killed him. Oh, no mystery. Oh yeah, today's space time. Oh crap, I, I didn't bet yet. Uh, I completely forgot today was space time. Um, yeah, I gotta go bet. <laughs> So he's gonna go out to lightning main and this sh fight should be in the bag seeing that there are two DPSs here. Oh uh. Baldi is like pseudo DPS if anything because he doesn't he doesn't hit that hard. But it helps outpace the lifesteal. Alright, we might as well use this while well, he's gonna get killed soon anyways. So the key to beating this Naruto is to outpace his heal. You have to constantly be attacking him. That's why you can't play those triple heal teams against him. It just doesn't work. You're gonna die a terrible death for trying that. This is also another way to do it. If he um, 
if he tries to hold his mystery in an attempt of avoiding my interrupt, I can I get I actually get the luxury of holding mine because I'm the fastest one. So that's another thing that I hope most people already know about because it's a pretty standard thing. But as you can tell, it still takes me the time to kill him because that dodge is um, kind of annoying. But uh, Lightning Mean is staying alive because of his Calm Mind, the buff from Baldi here. It, it, it adds up. Normally, he would have probably died like two rounds ago if not for that extra cushion that he's getting from that Calm Mind. He should probably die now. Yeah. Uh, I was like, he should be pr pretty dead after I, I force his dodge out. It's only two minutes left, so we're probably going to get one fight in. Uh, I don't want to attack Jushin. I kind of want to attack Shiki, but I don't think I have enough time. He looks like he's killing really slow. And there's like no one up here. Okay, I guess, um... We'll just hang out around here. <laughs> this looks like everyone's in a fight. We'll just hang out. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no way I can catch Hino. She's on Hiruzen and I'm clearly not. <laughs> I'm not on Hiruzen, so I, I can't beat him. Uh, who is this? Oh no, there's a 5 win spree. Damn, I didn't see it. Oh well. We got like 20 seconds <laughs> to do this fight. Alright, so I hope you guys were able to see that um, the power of my bald friend here and why his 40% buff is so good. It's one of those presents type of buffs. So he's like the reverse of Madara where, you know, he gives it as long as he's there. It's like an offensive buff. He gives defensive buffs. Maybe you guys can think of a team worth trying with him and Madara and some DPS that's from Konoha. <laughs> so, uh, I think the easiest one would probably be, like, Earth Main, um, and you take the, you know, the high filter knockdown chase, then, you know, you can get all the chases in, so, yeah, play around, uh, he's really good, he's really versatile, he's a free ninja, though I am still waiting for them to let me buy his frags, so I can get this guy to four star, because this mystery gains one more ability when it uh, when he's hit four star because when he's four star the mystery it has like a little counter effect where after he does his mystery during that one turn anyone attacks him he'll counter attack them he punches them back and does like a little bit of damage um but i don't know i i, I don't know how long it's going to take for him to sell it to us i thought it was going to be in like the konoha outlets but it wasn't and yeah um I hope it's not like Edo Hanzo prices either, because those prices are stupid. I'm not going to pay like 8k <laughs> for his frags. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, I, I like this team, and I find it kind of fun. And before I forget, I'm going to have to go bet on space time. So yeah, this is the video. Have fun, guys.